All right. One of the things that we know is that teachers sometimes just need students to fill out spaces on a worksheet. So here's my worksheet, for example, but I made a few tweaks to make it a little bit easier. So here's my math question. And it's, you'll notice that I put it in a table. Now, but what it means is that I can put in all kinds of information and it just keeps moving my work down as opposed to um, having it here, it would just make a mess. So this is not what I want. So this keeps it much more organized. And perhaps I need to chunk it for my students. So what I'm actually gonna do is highlight these three tables where I want my students to do the work. And I'm gonna go up here to the little fill bucket. At that point, I'm gonna choose a, a color. Okay. So now I can go in here and put in three and maybe I can go uh, 10 plus eight and maybe I can go whatever the answer is, okay? Similarly, I've got words. So the sky is, and I want the students to fill out this space. So I can go up here and I want them to fill out green. At night it is, uh-oh, I don't want them to fill out that space. So I can manipulate the size of this and then actually say, insert column right. And now I want them to fill in information here so I can go the size green. So here I can go blue, black, okay? Um, I can play around with these different things. And if I don't, if I wanna keep writing, I can highlight it and just say, insert row below. And it's gonna put the exact same information. So I can keep going and have those fill in the blanks.